What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, who has 30 wins, no losses, no draws, 15 wins by way of knockout. He is 24 years of age, 5 foot 9 with a 72 inch arm reach. He responds back to undefeated, three division, five time world champion, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis, who is 29 wins, no losses, no draws, 27 big wins by way of knockout. He is 28 years of age, five foot five with a 67 inch arm reach. Now, as of late, they both been coming off of the, they both come off the biggest wins of their career. Javante Tank Davis, April 22nd, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena against King Ryan, Ryan Garcia, which was the biggest, lucrative, the most uh, anticipated fight of Tank Davis's career. The biggest uh, endorsement deal fight of Javante Tank Davis' career. And when I say that, it was endorsed by the boxing world, right? This was the biggest fight of his career, and it lived up to the billing. It did 1.2 to 1.4 million pay-per-view buys. Massive, okay? Uh, so with that said, Devin Haney coming off the biggest win of his career. He defeated Olympic two-time gold medalist, three-division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasily Hitek Lomachenko, and he defeated him via unanimous decision May 20th, Las Vegas, Nevada, MGM Grand Garden Arena. So they're both coming off the biggest wins of their career. They have history. They have two glorified sparring sessions that everybody's interested in. And so they've been going back and forth for quite some time. Now, neither one of them have a fight coming up. They both got past the biggest test of their careers and they both made big cases of themselves. Now, Tank Davis and his team have been calling for a Devin Haney fight. Tank Davis is longtime trainer, father figure, big brother figure, mentor figure. Coach Calvin Ford has stated now on numerous occasions that he wants to see Javante Tank Davis face off against Devin Haney next. You even have his co-trainer in another big brother, father figure, mentor, longtime coach, trainer in Coach Kenny Ellis uttering the same thing. They want Devin Haney. Devin Haney is a network promotional free agent. So they have stated that they plan on having a contract sent over to Devin Haney to face him next. Devin Haney is a network promotional free agent. He satisfied his three fight obligation with legendary promoter, top rank CEO, Bob Arum, ESPN, and top rank. And now Javante Tank Davis he has his own promotional company. He has GTD Promotions. He's also partnered with Showtime, Showtime President of Sports, Steven Espinosa, and he's still with advisor and manager Al Heyman and the PBC, Premier Boxing Champions. And he still works with Mayweather Promotions CEO, Leonard Ellaby and Mayweather, okay? So with that said, it's easier for Devin Haney to go over to them to make the fight happen. And Tank Davis is no doubt the A side, although Devin Haney is the undisputed lightweight world champion and he's not far behind. But Tank Davis, he's been doing massive numbers, record breaking gates, so he clearly is the A side. So, with that said, Devin Haney, he stated that he keeps hearing them saying that they're going to send a contract. He stated, I'll believe it when Al Heyman sends the contract. Tell Al Heyman. He knows where to contact me. And then Team Davis, they responded with this, saying, why don't you pick up the phone and contact Al Heyman the same way you contacted Matchroom, Matchroom CEO and promoter, Eddie Hearn, who works with DAZN, who Devin Haney was once signed with, Matchroom and DAZN. So they stated, why don't you pick up the phone? Because recently we heard that Devin Haney, he confirmed that he reached out to Matchroom he reached out to Eddie Hearn to face off against two-time WBC 
junior welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Regis Rugeru Progre, who has a fight coming up in June. So according to Eddie Hearn and Devin Haney, Devin Haney reached out for a fight against Regis Progre in his next fight, moving up in weight. But Devin Haney, he's made it clear that if uh, of the correct fight presents itself and it makes the most sense, meaning the Devin Haney, the Tank Davis fight, then he would entertain it and fight at 135. So with that said, uh, Javante Tank Davis and his team are saying, reach out to Al Heyman. Now, we all know Al Heyman is not accessible like Eddie Hearn. I personally have Eddie Hearn's number. You can reach out to Eddie Hearn on social media. You can reach out to Eddie Hearn via phone number. So Devin Haney, he responded and he said, right, like I could just pick up the phone and call Al Heyman. Uh, then he put, you see what he put at the end, right? He said, get out of here. I'm paraphrasing, right? Yes, we all know that you're not going to just pick up the phone and call Al Heyman and say, I want to make a fight with Javante Tank Davis. Not only that, Javante Tank Davis, he's the A-side. So that means that Javante Tank Davis will be doing the contacting. He's the A-side. So he will be sending the contract. The B-side is not going to send the contract. So with that said, although Devin Haney is the undisputed champion, the B-side is not going to send the A-side a contract, especially not in this case, where Javante Tank Davis is arguably the face of the sport of boxing and breaking records all over the place. There's no way on this green earth that Devin Haney is going to send Javante Tank Davis any type of contract or agreement. He can respond to one, but he's not going to initiate one. So... Devin Haney, he responds and says, right, like I'm going to be able to call out, reach out and call out to Al Heyman, like he's available. Right, Al Heyman is not available, okay? There's some fighters that are signed with the PBC that I personally know are signed with the PBC that told me they have never even met Al Heyman in person. So Devin Haney, who's not signed with the PBC and is not an Al Heyman fighter, is just going to be able to pick up the phone and call Al Heyman that makes zero sense. And not only that, Devin Haney is the B-side and he understands that he's the B-side. He's not arguing that point. So with that said, this is up to Javante Tank Davis. Now we know he's on house arrest for 90 days, but after that, it's all up to Javante Tank Davis to make uh, the, the contact, send out the contract and make it happen. And see, then, if we if Devin Haney is bluffing right if you want to truly see if Devin Haney is bluffing about making a fight well all you have to do if you're Javante Tane Davis is reach out make contact send a contract and try to get a deal done and if he turns it down you can publicly let the world know that he turned the opportunity down but as far as Devin Haney reaching out to Al Heyman and calling Al Heyman and telling Al Heyman he wants to fight well we all know that's not even possible that's not going to happen again like i stated i know fighters on a high level that has never even had a conversation or never even seen al Heyman in person and he cuts their checks so there's no way in the world that devin haney's going to be able to reach out to al Heyman. now tang davis on the other hand is on a completely different level than all the other fighters outside of Errol spence deontay wilder that are with the pbc that can reach out to Al Heyman and get him on the phone personally. So Javante Tank Davis is the one that's gonna have to make this happen, point blank and period. Now, again, Devin Haney has stated he don't know how easy it is gonna be for him to make uh, 135 pounds again. So that is gonna be in question as well. So ultimately, we're gonna have to see if he can ultimately make 135 pounds. But Tank Davis being the superstar that he is, he has nothing but options. He's not short on options at all whatsoever. So this is the fight that the fans want to see. Coach Calvin, Coach Kenny, Tank Davis's team, they stating that this is the fight they want to make. Tank Davis said that he had a hit list, and on that hit list, Devin Haney, name was at the top of the list, along with Shakur Stevenson, who's an undefeated Olympic silver medalist, two division world champion former unified super featherweight world champion. So Shakur Stevenson is an option, but Shakur Stevenson has an exclusive deal with top rank 
Bob Arum and ESPN. So does the other third man he had on that list, which was the man Devin Haney just fought and beat, Vasil Lomachenko. So let's see how this all unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. I'm 